All right, all right, all right. What's going on, everybody? How are you? Hey, guys, Steven, the salon guy here, and welcome. Um, it is Tuesday night, and we are doing another live uh, session together, a live haircut. And every, every Tuesday, uh, we're going to be doing these live haircuts. And today, what we're doing is something that, oh, man, I mean, not only is Charlize Theron beautiful, but this haircut uh, from Aeon Flux, you can see here, is an amazing classic kind of haircut with a really, really awesome twist. And I've been getting requests for this for like <clears throat> the last like seven years, and I apologize for not doing it. So we're doing it tonight. It's a pretty advanced haircut, I think. I mean, it looks simple, but um, it's gonna be somewhat advanced. So if you're a professional hairstylist, this is gonna be awesome. Uh, if you're just some random dude like who's 14 saying, I want Justin Bieber, this might not be for you. <laughs> but um, I just want to let you guys know I am alone during this live stream. None of my team is with me, unfortunately. Um, <clears throat> no one could be here. So I'm doing this by myself. If I miss the comments, I apologize in advance because it's hard for me to cut and try to respond to the comments. So please, please bear with me on this. And uh, you know, if I don't see the comments or if I'm quiet, just you know, all I ask is for your patience, understanding, and uh, we'll have some fun tonight. So enough of me talking, let's get into it. So what I've done is I've uh, pre-sectioned the hair. And what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to bring the camera down a little bit now so you can see. And this is the fun part of being the camera guy as well as the uh, hair cutter, the hairstylist. So <clears throat> this is what we're going to do. And I've kind of pre-sectioned this. And if you notice kind of the sections, what I've done is I've kind of sectioned off some key parts because her hair um, definitely has <clears throat> some really interesting twists. And like in through here, the longer pieces that come down. So, um, and what we're going to do is kind of like a classic haircut. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start <clears throat> right in the middle here, really close to the hairline. And we're going to follow the natural hairline kind of going upwards a little bit. Now, I'm not using any tension whatsoever, and I'm just simply following the head shape right here. Kind of a natural hairline. Everybody's hairline kind of has a tendency to go downwards. Um, so that's kind of what we're doing is following the hairline. And then once we have this established, notice I'm not using any of my hands whatsoever for this. I'm actually just creating a, a sharp line just with what I see, no tension whatsoever. So we're going to take relatively fine sections into here. And what we're going to start to do is I want to just create one more section uh, with the base. And then we're going to start the graduation part of it. <clears throat> now, again, like I mentioned, this is a bit of a more advanced haircut. And something that definitely takes practice and experience. And um, I, I definitely think it's something that you could learn easily. Sorry about that. There we go. Get this out of the way. So let's do one more section right on the kind of hairline in the back here with no tension, just to create kind of a solid base. And I'm using my longer shears right in through here, which is allowing me to kind of get that nice cut right into the bottom. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. Uh, how's it going? Hello from Columbia. This mannequin is Barbara from HairArtProducts.com. And this is uh, model number 4325. I get all my mannequins from HairArtProducts.com, which I'm super in love with. I use all their mannequins. I think they're the best. And I couldn't be happier uh, with them because they're, they're literally amazing. You know, as close as possible to human hair. And that's what I love about these. Really, really amazing mannequins. All right, so the next section, we're going to take and we're going to clip this out of the way. 
I'm trying to make sure I'm not blocking the lighting here. That's why I'm kind of moving all over the place. And what we're going to do now is we're going to start our actual kind of graduation here. And I'm going to switch to my shears, which are five and a half, 5.5. And what we're going to do is we're going to start right down the middle. And we're going to actually start to build our shape. All right. And now I'm using the fine teeth. And I'm combing straight out. There's my base right there. And remember, wherever you cut this part right in through here is where the angle is going to start. So if I go like really, really close to the head this way, then thank you very much for the compliment. Then it's going to be really, really close to the head. If I bring it out this way, this point right here, where my finger starts, that's going to be the guide for the length. So you have to keep that in mind. So we are going to go relatively short in through here and build up some decent uh, kind of graduation. But we want this all to be really, really blended nicely. So we're not trying to create any harsh kind of weight lines. We want this to look very, very seamless. And there's our first section right there. And keep in mind, you can always go back and uh, fix up any sort of longer bits. That's the thing about these types of haircuts. A lot of it is kind of just working on the finishing. So I'm creating this piece right here is going to extend out this way. <clears throat> And now what I'm doing is I'm creating somewhat of a traveling guide, but I'm over directing back to my previous section because we are going to be working a little bit kind of shorter to longer right in through this area, especially in through the corners. And I'm cutting palm to palm, which means both palms are facing one another this way. Okay, let's turn this way a little bit more. So both palms are facing this way. I'm not coming over the top like this. I'm using cutting palm to palm. Yes. Uh, is hair a turn on for you? Like nice hair on a woman? Um, yeah, I think honestly, it's kind of a weird question, but who doesn't like sexy hair on a woman? I mean, it's kind of like, you must be like maybe 12 to ask that, but yeah. Who doesn't like sexy hair on a woman? Just like some women like bald guys <laughs> and some women like guys with hair, like really nice hair. So, I mean, it's kind of a common sense question if you ask me. All right. <clears throat> so what we're doing is now extending this into the corners this way. All right. As you can see, we've got a nice angle going on through there. And now what we're going to do is the other side. <clears throat> Um, Daniel, it seems like a lot of people, um, are from like Middle East <laughs> or like other countries. If you're from, let me know in the comments where you're from. I'd love to see somebody from like the United States. It's like Pakistan or like Middle East, India, stuff like that. I mean, like Colombia, like any Americans here, that'd be awesome. But I'm so happy to see so many people from other countries here. Uh, because it's it's so cool that I have such a diverse um, audience and people around the world. I think it's amazing. All right, so now again, now we're doing palm to palm again. And yes, for those of you that have been requesting this for the last like 20 years, I apologize. But this is, you know, doing this live, it, you know, I'm not doing voiceover cuts, which a lot of people do. You know, I'm literally doing this live. And the reason I can do this live is because I've done this for major companies. And I've been blessed to be able to teach for major brands, um, which has helped me be able to, you know, do my YouTube videos and instruct people. So, <clears throat> so what I'm doing is body position is really key here. It's really, really essential to make sure that everything is really working in sync. Okay. Illinois. Thank you, Brazil. I appreciate that. I'm in New Jersey, Richmond, Virginia. Awesome. Yes, um, the curling, Deverish, I'm sorry, Oklahoma, Poland, Texas. Yes, so, so people from USA. So what I'm doing is I am over directing back a bit to my previous section. And what I'm doing right into here is I'm just literally um, now going back in and just cross checking to make sure everything is even. And now I'm gonna pull this straight out and check. And yes, we are good. Awesome. Now, I just want to let you guys know, 
This is my product 25 right here. This is a cutting lotion as well. This is the first product literally to have 25 benefits to it. And when I tell you this is gold in a bottle, this is a game changing product. Um, if your hair is dry, it helps add moisture to it, adds proteins to your hair, balances the pH, it detangles, it's a cutting lotion. So I spray this on to help keep the hair nice and kind of uh, moist so I can work through it really easily. The most amazing detangler ever. Just really, really incredible. Like I said, 25 benefits. So it's a really amazing product. <clears throat> All right. So if those of you that missed, remember, when this is done, you can go back in and watch. But I did start right here, and I worked this way, and then I worked this way. Um, hide light thinning hair on guy generally. Uh, I'll get back to you, Henry, on that. Um, Australia. Hello there. Down under. Um, Spain. Toronto. Awesome, everybody. I'm asking, I'm talking to you guys. I'm trying to, uh, trying to keep up with all the comments because <laughs> I'm by myself, unfortunately. All right, so now we're taking our next section. And what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to start kind of angling my sections going on diagonal horizontal sections, which, as you can see here, a di horizontal diagonal section right in through here because that will help keep me consistent on this angle going shorter to longer. Now this is, kind, I wanna say kind of the easier part of the haircut, um, although you can really mess this up, <laughs> honestly. And, and, I, and I appreciate you guys watching. I know half the people here are just like Justin Bieber crazed fans or like the Sprouse brothers or like you wanna see like your favorite YouTuber, um, but uh, at the same time, I, I hope that there's some hairstylists here that are watching. If you are a hairstylist, if you're a professional, please let me know so I know like who I'm talking to and I know that like, I mean, I can kind of tell who is or isn't a professional, but I'd love to know if you are. Just let me know, please. Just be like, yes, I'm a stylist. Um, yeah, man, and this is, if you've ever seen this movie, if you haven't seen Aeon Flux, you have to see this movie, man. It's, I'm telling you, it's, a, it's, the movie didn't get the greatest ratings, but like, it's an amazing movie. It's super, super cool. All right. Hello, Mason. How are you? So now what we're doing, I'm going to push this away, this off to the side. And you can see because of how the 25 product, it just pushes right away and I can comb right through it. Barber. Awesome. Um, nine, I don't speak German. So what we're going to do is we're going to continue this shape right in through here. So now we're gonna elevate out just a little bit more and we're gonna connect this cutting on an angle this way, all right? And I'm going to <clears throat> take a section from my previous, but I'm over directing slightly just to maintain that angle right in through here. So we're gonna work for, I'm not bringing all the way back but I'm bringing it slightly back to the lap, the previous section. Because I want to maintain, you always want to maintain some of that kind of solid weight and that line right into the middle. Remember, this piece right here is what is going to be that angled piece. All right, that's kind of like your guide and your length working through the entire haircut. That's going to connect into the sides. <clears throat> All right, so now we are in the very corner. And <clears throat> sorry about that. I don't know what the hell my voice has been going lately. Now we're going to extend this straight out and cut pretty much almost like a straight line right into the corner. Let's turn this so you can see. I want you to see what I got going on over here. <clears throat> Nine. Um, yeah, I've been doing this for a long time. Um, oh, that's awesome. You're an assistant. Thank you so much, Candice. Uh, sci-fi, yes. I'm kind of an old school sci-fi nerd, Emma. <laughs> you used to be an officer for aerosol. I you know what you do. Yeah, I'll, Daniel, I'll get into that, man. And I've ex I have explained that. Um, awesome, Dawn. I will, I'll explain that. Uh, magic. 
for Daniel hair tutorial. I don't know what that means. Magic Fox, Daniel. Uh, I'm 42 years young, and I've been a hairstylist for probably about 23 years. All right. So I want you guys to see this from the side here. Look at that. Okay? See that? See how we're built? Now watch this. This is the magic part right here. Look at that. Bam. All the way up here. And now we're working this in like that. All right? See that? It's beautiful. Um, oh, wow. Justine, an instructor. Cool. So I better, I better do good, <laughs> uh, Justine. So, and thank you for teaching. That's amazing. Um, I'm located in the United States. All right. So now we are going to continue on this side. All right. And again, now we're going straight down. Push this out of the way. You want to make sure you have clean sections. And if you see the angle, there's the angle right there. Straight out from the head. And there we go. And we're going to do the exact same thing that we did on the other side. Now, if you notice, I'm using the fine teeth of the comb. And I'm combing everything very, very tightly. Like, everything is very neat sections. Because this type of haircut, you know, has to be really precise. And it'll help, help it really look good as well. You know, these types are, these are like the classic, you know, kind of graduated Bob haircuts. You know? Very Vidal Sassoon, who, you know, I actually trained at Sassoon in London many, many years ago. I trained at Vidal Sassoon at two locations in London. So I'm a huge Vidal Sassoon fan, and this is definitely a kind of a classic Sassoon cut with a very unique twist to it. All right. Now, as you are cutting, um, awesome, Stephanie. Luca's life, what's going on? Uh, I'm 150 for a woman and 75 for a men. Um, expert gaming, no. You have to include your butt hairs on that. Uh, yes, you can order it. The salonguy.com slash shop. All right. So here's the last section on this side. And you can check the guide underneath. And we're going to cut this one a little more blunt and um, a lower elevation. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to check, and wow, I'm actually pretty even. Usually my nickname is Uneven Steven, but it's pretty even. <laughs> um, Australia, oh, I wish, I wish. Yes. <laughs> oh, God, expert gaming, come on, dude. Like, seriously, don't make me have to, like, bant block you because I'm too busy. All right, so let's take a look at what we got here. Let's see a nice angle right here. Let's center this a little bit more. And as you can see here, we've got that really nice graduation right into here, right into here. And we're even. I mean, like, I'm pretty surprised. I'm, you know, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in and just continue to cross-check. You always want to cross-check to make sure everything is really on balance, on point, and don't be ashamed to go back and cross-check. There's nothing wrong with doing that. Or even not even cross like just going back in. You know, like I'm if you see it, cut it. If it's something that you see is off, don't be afraid to go in and um, get rid of it. I always say when in doubt, cut it out. <laughs> but uh, you have to be careful. <laughs> All right. Now we're gonna continue. We gotta keep doing this same technique all the way to the top. And taking fine sections is really important here, guys. You know what I mean? You have to take really, really fine sections. Let me see the comments. Um, yeah, Joseph, I have no time, man. Australia, how you doing? Thank you, Expert Gaming. I appreciate that, man. You know, I'm, I, I try to, like, I'm a, I'm a jokester as well, but, like, there's a lot of people here that are respectfully here trying to learn something, and, like, the immature comments, like, I'm not, like, about that, especially when I've dedicated half my life to this career and teaching people. So I really appreciate the support from people and like the immature comments, like just not now, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> Hola, como? oh, Morocco, how you doing? Thank you, Joseph. English, 
Richley official. Oh man. Um, I hope you're. Are you in Manchester? My heart goes out to everybody in Manchester, man. It was so horrible. So anybody in the UK, my heart goes out to you guys. It's 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 horrible. All right. So same thing. All right. Now what we're gonna do is continue this. It's really the same method, but what we're doing as we elevate more and more and get closer to the top of the head here, we're going to extend this out, you know, again, to where we want this to live. And once you get the hang of this, it's like, it becomes, it's almost like autopilot, you know? You want to be very cautious of this piece right through here, because this piece, remember, if you screw around with this, it could create a weight line. Uh, you, if you cut it too short, you're screwed. You do not want to cut that piece too short, trust me. Because if you do, it's really, really, really going to affect the shape. And you don't want to cut it too, leave it too long either, you know, unless you're creating some sort of like disconnected shape or something like that, you know? <clears throat> All right. So here we go. Let's just turn the camera a little more this way so you can see. Yeah, it's funny, man. Dude, I already, nameless, I, I described how to do Jake Paul's hair in the very, very beginning. I, ex I explained. 120 a.m., that's awesome. Yeah, man. No, I'm not going to Orlando. I apologize. No, I'm too busy. I don't really go to a lot of hair shows. Maybe the IBS show in New York sometimes, but that's about it. All right, so once again, here we are in that corner. I'm going to lower the elevation a little bit to where... This is really, really coming in very, very nicely. <clears throat> look at this. All right, look. See how beautiful that is? Very, very nice. And, you know, if you keep consistent, the haircut um, <clears throat> will turn out really, really good, <laughs> which is hard for me. I haven't cut a straight line over 20 years. Oh, man. Argentina, hola. <laughs> Awesome. All right, here we go. Once again, body position and, and all you guys that are hairstylists, especially the uh, cosmetology instructor, body positioning really is key and consistency. Look at how, let me zoom out of this a little bit. I'm going to zoom out so you can see my body positioning. All right. <clears throat> All right, that's a little bit better. So you can see the body positioning. Let's turn this a little bit more. So now I'm gonna comb down. I'm taking the fine teeth, pushing the hair out of the way, and now I'm combing back, look. Coming back, and look at how tight that section is, and my elbow, I'm cutting palm to palm, and my elbow is locked in. That sucker is not moving. The elbow has to be really, really locked in. Again, fine teeth of the, with the comb. Lock in the section. Elbow is locked in. And we're good to go. Okay? We're cutting in, like, the direction of how it's flowing. Jessica, cosmetology school, when I first requested hair tutorial, now I'm licensed and loving a new career. Thank you for teaching me more. Oh, thank you so much, Jessica. I'm sorry it took me 80 years to make this. <laughs> um, yes. Yep. You have to really, really do this extremely fine sections with the fine teeth because you can see everything. This haircut, you really need to see everything and you have to really take your time with this. Now, can you do this in like a one shot deal and like, yeah, I mean, you, you can, you absolutely can, but do I suggest doing that? Not really. So here's where the elevation is low, right here. And if you want to elevate it a little bit, just to remove a little bit of that weight, you can. So now what I'm doing is I'm just going to go back, and I'm going to cross-check. And I can't believe this. If you want to cross-check this, you cut it the opposite way, like that. So we're going to go reverse this way. It's the best way to cross-check is cut the opposite way that you um, cut it. So now I'm cutting, well, actually I'm, I'm doing pretty good here. 
and that one little bit there. But you see how fluid everything is, how it's all working together seamlessly. I apologize, I'll get to the comments in a sec. There's that shape right in through there. Let's turn this way. Um, wow, okay, that's a very interesting name, Eat My Bleep. Um, cosmetology class in high school, oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I know, it's uh, Eat My Bleep. <laughs> Trust me, I've seen like crazy YouTube names, like I Have Cancer, weird, crazy stuff. Um, Claudia, thank you. Now, I'm gonna keep moving along because we're getting to those key parts that are important for the haircut. It's those side pieces. That's really, really, really important. Um, how are you, can you guys hear me okay? Yeah. David Troy, my man. What's going on, mate? How are you? Hey, David, uh, you've got a fellow, a bunch of fellow people from uh, down under. <laughs> that are here as well. There's like four or five people from Australia. Everybody, um, David Troy, definitely subscribe to his channel if you can. When, uh, when you are done, thank you very much. Um, when you guys are done, check out David Troy's channel. He's a fellow hairstylist, he's a salon owner, he's a great guy, very supportive. Uh, we gotta get him some subscribers and support him. He's an awesome dude. And um, there's also a bunch of people here. See that? I know there's a couple of Aussies right here. David, I don't know exactly where you're from in Australia, but there's a few Aussies in here, so hello. <laughs> All right. If you guys can maybe, uh, yes, David. Um, Techno, your long layer haircut, pass it. Oh, awesome. Tamina, thank you. All right. I'm sorry if I'm going a little bit, you know, if I'm not responding to everybody, I'm just trying to finish this cut here. Oh, Melbourne, yeah. All right. So now what we're doing is, I'm, again, I'm combing with the fine teeth of the comb. And here's the essential part of where, again, we have to keep that angle really, really sharp. Because, you know, this piece, again, has to work its way down into the rest. And it's very easy to cut this piece too short. So you have to be very, very cautious that you don't cut this piece too short, but you don't leave it too long either. Because if this piece is too short and it's not really connected, it's just not gonna lay right, to be honest. It's not gonna lay right. I, I was trying to see if I had a darker mannequin because um, the character that Charlize Theron played, was the hair was jet black and I didn't have a, a mannequin. So, oh cool. Mexican, hola, Rudy. Como estas? Bien? Uh, thank you, Fire. I appreciate that. You know, after 20 years, like I said, I still can't cut a straight line, but I'm getting lucky tonight. <laughs> All right, so let's turn this this way. Syracuse, yes, East Coast. <laughs> Fidget spinner. That's funny. All right, so here we go. Low ele elevation right into the corners. And there we have it. Let's take a look at the shape here and the side, how that's looking. No, I'm, I'm um, not over directing. Yes, Fabio, I'm, I'm not bringing it all the way to the center. I'm bring over directing to the previous. So I'm not going all the way over here but I am over directing to the previous section, so it's slight over direction. So it's kind of like a traveling guide. Uh, I don't want to over direct too much because it'll build up a little bit too much weight. And her haircut, it seems like it all starts right around here. You know, it's really, really sharp, and then it all starts right in that area. So, combing again out straight from the head. And we're gonna keep following until there's not much hair to cut. Do you, do you guys in the comments, do you guys do a lot of these haircuts or even if it's not this Aeon Flux haircut, but do you guys have any trouble with these types of haircuts? I'd love to know. I mean, 
you know, they're not the easiest haircuts, I'll be honest with you. Uh, and they can be quite intimidating if you don't know what you're doing. Thank you, hello from Ireland. These are my own shears. I have uh, my own shears, the salon guy shears. Come on, focus. $5,000 camera, I won't even focus. There we go, the salon guy shears right here. Sorry, there's too much brightness in the background, but I have my own scissors, which David Troy has. David, how, how do you like my shears? They're um, really good to work with. All right, here we go, right into this corner, low elevation. And now I'm just gonna pull everything straight out just to make sure they're good. Thank you. Yeah, man, <laughs> awesome. Yeah, Justine, it's not, thanks Douglas, it's not the easiest haircut, you know? It's not. So what I wanna do is I feel this was a little bit heavy or long on this side. So let's comb it out and just that little bit right on the top section is where it's just a little bit long. By combing it the opposite way is the best way to cross check this. Combing it the opposite because everything will jump out at you. Yeah, and there's those little bits that are a little bit heavy, a little bit long. Cool. One last section, right in through here, we're moving along as quickly as I can. And again, I'm by myself, so I, I apologize if I'm not responding or I'm, uh, you know, I'm not being as engaging, but I'm trying to. <laughs> now, I know a lot of you guys, you know, I, I don't know if you realize this, but, you know, cutting hair and being able to explain it live really is a gift and an art. And I learned this many, many years ago. And I have like so much respect for people that uh, literally are teaching. Thank you, man. Thank you. Yeah, right. Um, it, it's, it's an art to teach while cutting. And, and I used to be an educator for two major companies, L'Oreal and Paul Mitchell, many, many, many years ago. You know, I, when I go to hair shows or I see guys that are on stage or see people on stage and they're teaching while they're cutting and they've gotten like better, you know, like I think I'd be a better educator nowadays if I was still doing it. But um, I have a lot of respect for people who teach because it's not easy to cut live. You know what I mean? Um, oh, thank you, Ashley. Yeah. Um, Russ, sorry about that. No, I can't do that. Um, I can do extensions on your pubes, but I'm not going to shave it. Uh, it's, it's really difficult to do this. And I've been very blessed, you know, to have been taught how to do this many, many years ago. So I have a lot of respect for anybody who can cut live. <laughs> and I've done it for in front of hundreds of people. You know, on a stage, just me or someone else, and it's uh, very nerve-wracking. But I've been blessed to be able to do it, to go on YouTube and do this on a regular basis. All right, so we're getting closer to the sides and this bit right into here. So what I'm doing is I'm really kind of manipulating the hair now and making it jump out at me to kind of see things. And yeah, see, that was perfect. There was something in this area, let's zoom in a little bit closer. There was something right in this area that was like throwing me off a little bit. And I ended up um, going back in and pushing the hair to kind of get it to where I wanted it. And then I saw it and I cut it and now I fixed it. Uh, <clears throat> so let's see. Tanner. They're not even hair tutorials, dude. I'm not going to critique a non-professional doing hair tutorials, to be honest with you. <laughs> I've seen them attempt to do some videos of like styling other people's hair, and I've just like put down the blow dryer. So, I mean, I really can't critique non-professionals, man. Like, I really don't, <laughs> you know, I wouldn't even consider them hair tutorials. Um, 
Pepe the Frog, what's going on? Douglas, thank you, man. Christina, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I'm not trying to like diss anybody, but like, I mean, it's like, you know, the difference between a professional golfer and like some dude who just like plays golf, you know, and he's like, oh, I'm going to give you golf tutorials. And it's like, well, there's like guys that are professionals who dedicate their whole career to playing golf or makeup or tennis or any sport. You know what I mean? It's like really unfair. YouTube is so, I have a lot of respect for people that are, you know, on YouTube, but YouTube has almost made it so easy to become a platform to get your name out there when you have, to, when you literally can have no experience whatsoever. And it's ridiculous, you know, but at the same time, that's the freedom of speech. That's what YouTube's about, creating content. If you're happy or passionate about doing the same thing that like 19 of your other BFFs are doing, then that's cool. It's like, go for it, you know, like whatever makes you happy. But I just don't want to consider myself or put myself in a category with other people who literally are doing things as non-professionals. It's just, and they, they could be the nicest guy in the world and I'm, I have, you know, respect for people, but I'm sorry, dude. Like, let's see you get up here and do something like this. That, this is a hair tutorial, you know what I mean? This is a friggin' hair tutorial. And those of you who know me, Emma, um, stop talking and cut off that hair. You just say the, Douglas, dude. Um, hey, Brian, how you doing? Thank you very much. Yeah, Douglas, I don't know, are you talking to me or what? Um, thank you, Pepe, I appreciate that. Are you talking about my chest hair or the hair on my head? I don't know. All right, let's go. We got we to gotta get back to this. So, and I can do like super long rants. And I don't know if anybody here is a makeup artist, but I hear this all the time from literally professional makeup artists who are looking for work, who are extremely talented, who went to school, and, they're getting, and their biggest competition is like the 13-year-old girl doing makeup tutorials in their bathroom and like making millions of dollars by doing like bathroom tutorials of makeup. And it's like really, they feel, get, they get really frustrated and I feel their pain because I've talked to many of them that are like ridiculously talented and uh, even myself, you know, we're competing with people who are just making stuff in their bathroom. So it's like, all right, <laughs> that's just the internet nowadays, you know? Um, yes, Calic, watch my video, how to get rid of a Calic. Rudy, because I can do this anytime I want. Um, David, thank you, mate. I appreciate that. Uh, graduation, Russ, I have no idea. Get what, get what you want, dude. Go for it, man. Get what you want. All right, so let's see what we got here in the back. I think we are looking fairly good here. Let's turn like this. Let's turn this way. We're looking good here. We are looking good here. Great. Yes, I do, uh, Johnny. I do offer one-on-one -on -one private training at my studio. All right, so now becomes the, diff the interesting part of this haircut. Now, as you can see right through here, I have all these bits sectioned off, okay? I have this whole panel sectioned off right into here. Yes, Matt, it's graduated. Um, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, oh, Real Madrid or Barcelona. Ooh, that's a tough one. I am more of a Ronaldo fan than a Messi fan. <laughs> um, all right. Thank you. I appreciate that, Mickey. All right. So here is where the sectioning comes off. And if you're professional, um, Juventus, yeah, Juventus is cool. This is the very unique part of the haircut, okay? And um, let us do this side first. Let's do this side first because this side she has, let's pull up my phone. And last time I did a live stream, I put some of you on Snapchat. Thank you, Nancy, I appreciate that. Honestly, Rudy, I get rid of them. Nancy, how you doing? Uh, let's start the side, it looks great. Yes, we're gonna start the side. So as you can see here, you know, it kind of like 
this one section on this side, you know, picks up from right here and then starts to really, really get thin in this one piece right into here. And I have to refer to my phone <laughs> a lot for this. All right, here we go. So that side piece, I'd say, goes to about the chin. So let us elevate this a little bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide cut. Let's see, my arm's in the way, no. And I'm really going to push and force this hair to, to slide down to make it a lot thinner. And there we go. It's probably a lot longer than I need it. Okay. Sorry if I'm a little quiet here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean this up. and kind of twist my hand out. All right. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go back in and um, thin this out even more right in through here. And also when it's dry as well. So we're gonna do it when it's dry. Let's see. Uh, Aeon Flux, Matt. Info. Yes, Johnny. I'm in New Jersey. So I apologize. Let me back this out a little bit here. And this is still really, really heavy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work this down even more. So let's pick this up here. And I'm going to curve my hand down. I'm actually literally slide cutting just like that. There we go. That's looking a little better. Cool. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go in through right here and cut any sort of excess hair or weight right into this corner. There's a little bit of a piece right there that needs to come off. And there we go. Cool, now we're talking. Sweet. I apologize again, guys, um, if I'm not paying, if I can't see you, I apologize. Um, awesome. All right, so here's this one side right through here. And what we're going to do is when this is dry, really, really like wisp this out even more, like more than it already is now, which is gonna really work out best dry. All right, so let's do this side now, which again, a lot of this is gonna involve dry cutting. Awesome. I appreciate that. I'm trying to uh, engage with all you guys. <laughs> all right, so here's this. This is the really interesting piece that is like a big mystery. <laughs> so let's go. Now, let's see here. Let me think how I can cut this so you all can see it. All right, I hope you guys can see that. All right, so it's like she had this piece, like, again, a lot longer, right in through here. So what we're gonna do is, again, I'm gonna come in and reverse slide cut this. Just like that. And there's my, um, there's that piece right into there, if you can see that. Thank you, guys. And Justine, I really appreciate that. Actually, Matt, this is like crazy, um, a little bit different. A little bit different. 
Tanner, I'll get, like, I'm not, I really can't talk about that stuff right now. <laughs> uh, I really want to focus on this haircut. Uh, so, let's see here. So there we have this really, really long graduation, right, or this angle right in through here. Okay, what do you think about that, guys? You see that? That's pretty cool. How am I, how am I doing? <laughs> how am I doing so far? Um, so now the front bits. The front right in through here is a little bit tricky as well. That's all right. Everyone can ask what they want. I'm just trying to uh, focus on this haircut. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I appreciate that. So the very, very front, it looks like it's kind of curved down again. She's got some pieces that are like starting off here. Um, they're starting off like right around the lip area. So again, we're gonna slide cut. Watch, I apologize with, the, with my arm in the way. And we're gonna hug this now cutting reverse, cutting the reverse shape. Cool. There we go. So there's that there's a longer piece right here. Let's get this out of the way. And then here's the other pieces. Now I'm gonna go in and do like some serious dry cutting and really like kind of thin this out. But here we have it. Let's see how this is looking. Boy, this mannequin hair head is really, really thick. So let's go in this way. And cut under. There we go. Yeah, this is really, really, really thick, but we need to go back in. All right. Here we have it. So this is gonna work out a lot better when it's dry, to be honest with you. <laughs> because I'll do some dry cutting. All right, sweet. So let's see. Uh, I will use a razor. Um, Shout out Yua Yang. Yua Yang, what's going on? Thank you guys, I appreciate that. All right, so I'm going to now start to spray a little more product into here. 25, and don't go anywhere. I have to get a little bit more product of mine, which I don't know. Up oh, here we go, here's some plush right in through here, and uh, hold on a second, I'm sorry. Ah, smoothing iron. All right, I'm back, sorry about that. So here is my product plush, right here, USA, what's going on? Yeah, Twitch, huh, hola. Uh, in Chile, mucho gracias. Brittany, what's going on? Oh, thank you, David. So this is Plush, my smoothing serum. Really amazing stuff. It's actually the first smoothing serum that actually adds volume. And when I was testing this, I literally had different formulas side by side testing on different heads. And um, one of them, the formulas was so smooth but it made the hair so flat, where this one, as I was blow drying like one, like one half the head with one, with this one, I was like, oh my gosh, because it left volume in the hair, but it didn't 
uh, it, it made it really smooth, but it didn't um, weigh the hair down, and it actually kept the volume in, which was really, really cool. All right, Orlando, what's going on? <clears throat> Dude, I know the Jake Paul, please uh, stop spamming Jake Paul. Uh, Sweden, what's going on? Uh, oh my gosh. Thank you very much. Watching me for four years now. Um, Twitch, really? Yeah, I, I have I have a uh, Kev, what's going on? Yeah, all right, so now I'm going to blow dry this. And <clears throat> you're gonna have to bear with me on the blow dry because it's gonna be a little noisy. <laughs> but I'll try to keep this on a lower volume or lower power so you can, uh, you can watch. Is it, how am I doing, guys? Am I, I'm trying to multitask. Are you, are you guys okay with this? Hey, Singapore. Oh, Jennifer, thank you. Just give me a, like a heads up that like you're okay watching, that I'm doing all right. I'm trying to keep up with you guys. So what I'm doing is I'm taking the sculpting brush. Yes, Adrian. Wow, thank you, Rachel. Awesome, thank you very much, guys. So what I'm doing is I'm using this, this hair dryer right here, any professional or non-professional, the H3000 Lux Air from HairArtProducts.com. This thing is literally the lightest hair dryer I've ever, um, thank you, everybody. It's the lightest hair dryer I've ever used. And because of the technology, it actually helps blow dry the hair quicker. So what I'm doing is I'm literally sculpting the hair down and flat wrapping it. I'm literally flat wrapping it to the head <clears throat> so that it lays a little bit flatter this way. And this is what we call flat wrapping, where I'm just literally using the brush and the nozzle together. Now, since I'm on the topic of blow drying, I know I'm going to get like 9 million questions from people about blow drying. No blow dryers do not damage your hair if you use them properly. And I've been working on some people. Ruiz, thank you. Um, I've been working on clients for 15 years, 20 years, using blow dryers on them. Every time I do their hair, they blow dry their hair all the time, and they still have hair. Over 20 years, still have hair. So don't get fooled by these non-professionals talking about, yes, heat, protecting, heat protection is important, but, you know... I was doing hair before products were even talked about, uh, about heat protection and stuff like that. So don't get misled. But nowadays, the technology with the blow dryers are so, um, so good that you actually, like most blow dryers nowadays are actually made to condition your hair, to be honest with you. All right, so here we go, flat wrapping again, and I'm trying to get through this as quickly as I can. I'm really working this down instead of um, trying to build a lot of weight, but I want you guys to see, whoop, I want you guys to see what I have so far as far as the shape right through here, and hopefully you can see that right there. Um, <laughs> nah, nah, Henry. Um, hair, uh, it's hairartproducts.com. Actually, in the bottom of this description, um, you, can, you can email um, Avelia at hairartproducts.com because she, uh, you can buy the hair dryers from them. All right. So what I'm doing on this side here is I'm literally flat wrapping this forward. Just want to get that out of the way. Let's see where we're at. Oh, here we go. Move back a little bit. I just want to show you guys what I'm doing. I'm flat wrapping the hair all the way this way. And I really want to get this really nice and um, 
sleek right through here. And a lot of the haircut is like really directed off forward, like this. Thank you. Yes, it's called Plush, Adrian. P I did a video on it, it's called Plush. P-L-U-S-H. Look up my video, How to Get Smooth Hair. So the key here is to really just continue to keep the nozzle and the brush working together. The nozzle and the brush working together as one. Because if you don't, then it's not going to really be effective. You even push this out of the way. And see, you really got to get every piece. All right. I hope you got, if you're, with, if you're still with me, say yes. <laughs> no problem, Adrian. Oh, uh, that's good, Kev. Good for you. Is it a white horse? All right. All right, so here's this side, right into here. Awesome. Thank you, guys. I appreciate the support. Now I'm going to come up on this side over here and do the same thing. Let's zoom out a little bit. There we go. I'm just gonna make this a little bit stronger so we can work through this. I hope this doesn't shut off at nine o'clock because I have the timer going till nine um, or I have the the stream from eight to nine, so an hour, but hopefully it's not gonna boot us out. So I apologize if you guys can't hear me right now. I just wanna get through this a little bit quicker. Sometimes I surprise myself. <laughs> yeah, th and I appreciate, I'm just gonna turn this off. I appreciate you guys sticking up for like what I'm trying to do, and I know you guys are having uh, a good time, <laughs> but I appreciate you guys kind of controlling the, the uh, comments a little bit just because uh, I'm trying to focus on this haircut, so thank you very much for um, fighting off the kind of weird stuff <laughs> and letting me focus, so thank you guys, I appreciate that. Dude, Kev, really, like, do I have to block, do I have to literally stop what I'm doing to go friggin' block you? Like, really? <laughs> Unbelievable. All right. So now let's do this. I appreciate that. So now you can see in the very front. So now I'm going to blow dry all forward this way. I just want to really smooth this out. If this shuts off in one minute, I apologize, but um, hopefully it won't. So as you can see, I'm really working this section and working this hair down to make it straight.
and, and sometimes by going the opposite direction, it actually really helps to smooth it even more. I'm not paying attention to the screen to uh, the chat right now, so I apologize. And it's okay to be a little aggressive with this, especially since it's a mannequin head. <laughs> All right, so let's see what we got. Um, thank you, David. All right, so we're gonna bring this over this way. Let's work this in, these pieces. All right, sorry if I'm quiet. I'm just observing some stuff right in through here. Oh, thank you, Holly. Thank you. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use this uh, wireless cordless smoothing iron. This is a cordless smoothing iron, which um, I'm just gonna get some water here. I don't know, my throat's been really dry. I don't know what the hell's going on. So this, this smoothing iron is really going to help uh, smooth out this whole, this whole haircut right in through here. Let's zoom in a little bit more. You can see what we got going on. Let's bring her over this way. Whoop, this way a little bit. Let's raise her up. There, how's that? Thank you. I appreciate that. Yes, Emma, this is, this is um, the Paul Mitchell Lumina connect collection. Let's see if it's warming up. Yes, all right. So we're gonna take this section right here and we're gonna kind of really work this forward. And really, really, really extend that down to, to smooth it out. And this might be too much hair. Yeah, this is too much hair. So let's section this off. <clears throat> section this off right through here and really get that nice and straight. The key to this haircut, and it looks like how she had it was like pin straight and all kind of working forward this way. So I'm actually like angling the iron forward this way, okay? So I'm gonna take this, and it's almost you can do like vertical sections and work the hair down like that. So it's kind of like pulling on the ends a little bit. If that makes any sense. And I really wanna do this kind of really piece by piece to make sure that everything is coming into place exactly how I want it. There we go. Oh. Nixter, how you doing? 20 something years I've been a hairstylist. All right, bear with me guys. Again, I'm taking this and working it really, really working that iron to smooth out this shape. And I'm gonna even take the shape horizontally like this. And I'm moving the I'm constantly moving the iron. That's the key. Constantly moving the iron. Let's bring this down this way. There we go. Now again, this is gonna look really different after we like really thin this out a lot. 
But what do you guys think? Uh, buzz it, top knot, cutting. Sorry guys, I hope I'm not boring you. Am I boring you? <laughs> Are you still enjoying this? Because I'm, this is the hardest part right here. All right, so the last section on this side. Okay, thank you, Emma. I appreciate that. Thank you, David, mate. I appreciate it. Let's work this in right here. All these pieces, let's separate all these pieces just because um, they all kind of live in a separate place. Okay. This last section right through, and the best part is coming up. Like this is, this is just like, this is a good part, but the best part is coming up. And these mannequins have like super, super thick hair. Especially this part right in the front. Yeah, that's the thing about mannequin heads sometimes. But that's good because hair art products, the good thing about their mannequin heads is that they um, they are really good, you know? So they are a bit thicker. We're actually, this shape is looking fairly nice, I must admit. So let's bring this over this way. And there's a lot of hair in through here. So, I mean, the, the tough thing about this is that because it's so thick, it's like, oh man, we got to see how we can work this shape in here. So we have to now, as you can see, the hair is reacting very differently. So we have to almost like trick it and reverse going back and around so that it will lay a little bit better. Okay. So we're coming along. All right, this goes over here. And thank you for being patient. I appreciate this. I appreciate all your patience. Let's see how this is looking. It's actually looking pretty good, I must say. All right, so let's go on this side now. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, the, uh, the hair dryer is amazing. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, now we're going to go here. Again, take the iron, the smoothing iron, and we're going to work it through to really accentuate that shape. And I'm kind of directing the iron forward. You have to, and depending on the hair type, you have to really work the shape and kind of restyle it, work the iron. As you can see, it wants to go around the other way. So look how I'm twisting, see that? How I'm manip manipulating the hair? I'm actually pulling the iron down and shaping it into the style, which is a really cool, neat trick. So there, I'm turning it and actually beveling, it, beveling the hair, the iron under. Beveling the iron under and turning, see, turning that. Have you guys ever done that before? Where you actually turn and shape the, shape the hair in? Okay. So this has so much friggin' hair, this mannequin, which is a good thing. <laughs> Okay, cool. Let's see some of the comments. Uh, emo, yes. No, that was, I think that was really her hair. I don't know. It's tough because that was a really nice haircut. Um, and I, I have to, I can't exactly remember back how far. All right, so now. What we're going to do 
is we're really going to sculpt this out. Okay? We're really going to sculpt this out. Let's bring this in. Angle this right in through here. All right, here we go. So now what I'm going to do is I'm literally scraping off the top layers to make it much thinner. Okay, I'm scraping off the top layers. Now, the way that this works is when you're, when you're using a razor, okay? And I know you guys were interested in um, doing some, seeing some razor cutting. Um, thank you. The mannequins are in the description below. And this is, this is human hair, all right? So watch this. When you're taking the razor, what you wanna do is you wanna literally scrape off any excess weight on the top layer, okay? The top layer of hair. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna remove all that excess weight into here. So I'm not removing a lot of the length at all, I'm just simply cutting this to where that front little piece is a lot thinner. So you lay the, the razor flat as can be, and then just work that shape in. Okay, that's the key to this whole thing, is really, really work that shape. And if you feel it's heavy in any areas, then go in and scoop it right out. And this is actually looking quite nice, I think. I think we're doing a good job here. Let's see. Great. I'm gonna push this forward as much as we can. And we really wanna work this shape in. Really accentuate that. All right, let's see how that looks. What do you think? Thank you very much. Yes. Yep. Um, no, unfortunately. So, and I might even go back in a little bit more, but see how, how that removes so much of that weight. So this is, this is the big, this is the side right here that really needs to be super, super thin right here. So I'm going to take the top layer and I'm really going to remove that excess weight just by feel. And thank you for sticking with me, guys. Uh, I appreciate that. Um, yes, it's kind of emo, but I appreciate you guys sticking with me. So I'm really removing the, the weight where only where you need it. Because remember, you want to keep that weight, that piece, but that length, but wherever you feel it's heavy, that means that's where it needs to come off. So there we go. The shape is working in very nicely. And if you need to remove sections, again, it's really just by feel. There we go. That's looking pretty nice in through here. Hey guys, I like think this is this like looks a lot like it. <laughs> just Google Aeon Flux haircut, Charlie Theron, and see what you think. But really, really, really hold that. Again, I'm laying the razor on the hair and just turning in a little. And the more you turn in, the more you're going to get that weight out. All right, you're not taking off a lot of the length. You're just removing that weight to just kind of whisk that out, just wherever it's needed. Now this section right into here, let's do this piece by piece here. This is really, 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 really heavy. So I'm pinching that and removing the weight. Here we go, right in through this part. Again, sliding down and getting rid of all that excess weight right in through here. 
and I'm going to probably end up going back in with the thinning shears. But what do you guys think so far? Uh, it, no, I might do that. I am. I'm going to, Ashley, I'm going to do that. Give me one sec. But you see what I'm doing? You see that hair that's coming off there? If you can see that? That's all weight that's being removed. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my thinning shears right through here. Now let's see if I can get a little closer into here for you. Let me just adjust the, oh, let me just adjust this camera a little bit. Okay. Let's fix this mannequin head. She looks a little bit uneven. There we go. All right. Yeah, I wouldn't use curly, I wouldn't use thinning shears on curly hair. So let's pick this up right through here. And what I'm going to do is I'm literally just going to re remove that excess weight. Right throughout the ends. And this really, really wisps it out. Okay, let's take this section. We're going to do this section by section right here that whole section right there is pretty long all right so there we go and now let's really really work that thinning shear in and remove that excess weight so i am coming from underneath and look at all that hair I just took off. Look at all that hair. All right. So now what we're doing is really, really allowing that hair to move now. And look at that. Folks, we are getting there. Look at that shape right into there. What do you guys think? All that hair, gone. Piece that out a little bit. What do you guys think about that? Can you see that? Thank you very much. Now, I'm going to take the next section. Because remember, it's heavy. It's still relatively heavy. So let's remove that weight again on this section. Yes, Justine. It is really polishing this look up. And this, I mean, this is a really unique haircut all right now this part right through here let's go in here and this is relatively heavy as well so let's remove some of that weight underneath you see what i'm doing i'm actually no you can't see what i'm doing because i'm the camera now look here's what i'm doing <clears throat> i'm lifting this section up and I'm coming underneath like that. Okay, see that? Coming underneath and removing all that weight. And you can be fairly aggressive with it too. See? I'm literally just look at look at that hair. <laughs> see that? Clump of hair. And then you go back in and you work it down. Very, very nice. I'm, I'm like loving this right now. Look how amazing that looks. Yeah, slide cutting. Slide cutting can work, but honestly, you could be most aggressive with a thinning shear, I feel. 
you can be super, super aggressive with this. Because I'm just literally picking up sections and working off, removing the weight, the bulk. That's what I'm doing. Okay, here's where it's gonna be really, really heavy. This is like super bulky right in through here. Now look, see how I did that? I'm just, I'm just literally locking in and removing all that weight right in through here. And don't be afraid, to, especially for this haircut, you need to make it really, really wispy. So yes, I'm being very, very aggressive with the wisping on this. Okay. So guys, look up Charlize Theron under Aeon Flux, the haircut, and like, let me know. Like, do you think we're doing good? Because I think it's looking freaking amazing. <clears throat> uh, it doesn't matter about the fade of the man bun, of the, you know, it, it undercut, it really doesn't matter, to be honest with you. It's personal preference. Did we do the other side? Um, I don't know. Did we? I think we did. Yes. I can just feel it. So let's go back in a little more. It feels a little bit heavy still. Feels a little bit heavy. But we are almost done, guys, and you have all been amazing uh, sticking with me this whole time in this haircut. I really, really appreciate this, guys. It's very, very nice of you to do this. Very nice of you. Because I know it's late for some of you or it's early for some of you. But last time I did a Snapchat. <laughs> No, not this. Thank you, Josh. I appreciate praise. Oh, thank you, Fire. Josh, see you later, man. Yes, I'm almost done. We're getting there. So look, in the back, I'm just removing all this weight, being very, very aggressive. And for those of you who want to see some sliding, slide cutting techniques, who just have to see slide cutting with shears, let's do a little slide cutting with the shears. Just to make you all happy. Let's just put that in there. I think this wants to go over, yeah. Right here. So, slide cutting. I'm gonna slide just using the thumb. See that, slide cutting, just using the thumb and working my way down that way. And yes, you can carve out good amounts of chunks like this. This is when you really wanna remove like chunks. It's over to make a final look. And now let's just iron this out a little bit more. Actually, let's do it on this side too. I hope you guys, how'd you guys like that um, slide cutting stuff uh, this way? Slide cutting definitely removes like a lot of weight, but it's very, very different. This is actually removing like like hair hair, you know, like you're cutting out like slices of hair. So that's where slide cutting comes in. And I'm really, really, really just being very, very um, cautious with this. Because I really don't want to take off too much, but I'm also working that in right into there. Okay, so let's take this and smooth that out one more time. 
question answered. I'm sorry, I'm gonna, thank you. We're getting there, folks, we're almost done. And who wants to do a Snapchat Live with me? I'll put you guys in this video. Okay, we're getting there. And then this side, let's just straighten this a little bit more. And this piece right here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get my new product which is called Shadow, which isn't released or live yet. Ah, so let's see what we got. Drake, how you doing? Hold on, I will break this all down. Give me one second. Oh, thank you. Give me one second, guys. Don't go anywhere. I will be right back because I want to get a new product. So just stare at Charlie Theron for a sec. <clears throat> Don't go far. Because I'm getting my brand new product, which is unreleased. All right, you guys, for those of you who know my products and stuff, um, Mason, how you doing? Are you ready for the, you know my packaging is red, I've got some blue stuff. This is unreleased, I'm launching it very, very soon, but check this out. This is my new product, it's called Shadow, and it's a grit pomade, and this is literally insane. This stuff is like, kind of like a traditional pomade, it gives a little bit of that shine, but it's got a gritty texture to it, so you can really kind of mold it and sculpt it in, and it's like this cream that turns into this um, gritty type texture, and I'm telling you, this stuff is insane, and this will be the first time I'm using it, obviously, on this haircut right here. Uh, I tested it for a long time, and so here's what it looks like. Basically, if you can see, Okay, it's got like a creamy consistency to it right here. Yes, it works, it works great with fine hair. So here, let's work it through. So look how it's like butter. It works through like butter, so you're getting that like pomade consistency, but when you start to really work it in your hands, it's like, oh, there's a little bit of like, a little texture in there. And this is where it all starts, the magic starts to happen, right in through here. So now I'm working this down, working the product in to really accentuate these pieces. And this is, this is where the product's really gonna come in handy, right in through here. So you can see that there. Now let's work this in. Really work that in. And it's really, really coming out nice. I hope you guys agree. And what do you think? I think this looks friggin' nice. <laughs> All right, so let me wipe my hands. Um, but what do you guys think? I hope I came through for you guys. This is like a late night hangout, and I appreciate you guys um, sticking with me on this. So let's turn her to the side that way. I'm gonna act as the camera guy for a sec. 
Look up Charlie Theron Aeon Flux and let me know if you think this looks like it. Let me know what you think. And there's lots of hair coming out because of the way of all the texturizing we did. Yeah, what do you guys think of that? Here's the back. Thank you. Hey, Jacob. Ah, uh -huh. check out the back, how nice that back is. I mean, dude, guys, this is, I mean, we killed the back here, man. Look at that. Actually, I'm just breaking this down. Bear with me. I'm gonna start to, I'm gonna start to do some Q&A stuff soon. And then here we have the final piece right into here, right into the front. Uh, thank you all. And here is the final piece. I appreciate that, Tom. I appreciate that. You know, I had honestly so much fun doing this. Uh, this really is, you know, someone mentioned before about like, how do I feel about other people doing tutorials? You know what? Like <laughs> this goes out to all, all right, let, let me, let me back this up. Let me back this up a little bit here. Yes, Tamara, you have to be aggressive with the texturizing. You have to be. All right, so let's get this set over here. I want you guys to finally, finally see me now. There I am. What's going on, everybody? <laughs> Sorry, uh, I've been busy, obviously. But here I am. There we go. Here I am, folks. How's everybody doing? Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna just break this down. I've done like, just type in emo the salon guy. I don't know if you're saying this is emo, but if you wanna see an emo style, type in emo the salon guy. Thank you. Thank you so much, Fire, I really appreciate that. Enjoy it. All right, look at this. Really created an amazing graduated shape right into here. Worked everything in. Uh, I mean, this is really an advanced, but like classic haircut. You know, really, really classic shape. I, I wish you could, guys, you could see this in person, but this really, I mean, look at that. Just type in Aeon Flux, Charlize Theron, and you'll see. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Um, so, before I go, all of you guys that are here, I'm posting five days a week. Five days a week, I'm making the commitment to uh, my channel, and it's been a uh, <clears throat> excuse me a long journey. Five days a week, I'm posting content. So two, Monday is professional day, where all my videos are for professionals. Anyone can watch them, but it's geared for professionals. Tuesday, live, 8 p.m. Um, and Wednesday is Total Request Wednesdays. Thursdays is when I have Frank Enstein, do you believe that guy, Frank Enstein? He's gonna be doing haircuts. I can't believe I ever let him on the channel. But Thursdays is Frank Enstein, and Fridays is kind of like a free-for-all. Um, I have a fashion video coming up with Andrew, my model Andrew, um, and uh, that's it. Five days a week, I'm posting content, and I really appreciate this. Tomorrow, for all of you that are watching, I'm giving you a little bit of a sneak peek. I'm doing, or uh, tomorrow, a K-pop, um, Two-Step Cut is launching tomorrow, 7 a.m. Eastern Time, that popular K-pop two-block two haircut. That two-block haircut tomorrow, guys, 7 a.m. Finally, after like the nine million requests for a K-pop cut, it's launching tomorrow on my channel at 7 a.m. Eastern Time. Um, <clears throat> so, thank you very much, uh, Katie. I really appreciate that. So, one last little uh, rant that I wanna do, oh my God, I'm, my head is shining, I'm radiating shine off my head. Um, you know, I've, I've been seeing the interesting mix between professionals and non-professionals here, and I appreciate you guys sticking up for the people who have been kind of disrespectful. Thank you for monitoring this because I've been busy. Thank you for all of you guys uh, that have been watching all along. And for the professionals out there, even if you don't have a YouTube channel, 
you know, I know you guys have a certain level of respect for what I do as a professional. And some of you may not know this, but there's lots of professionals out, non-professionals out there making hair videos, making hair products. And I'm not here to bash. I don't want to talk crap at anybody. But like, you know, I'd like to see them stand in front of a camera or stand in front of like a hundred people and teach how to do a haircut or teach how to blow dry someone's hair or teach how to style. You know, that's what really separates us and the makeup artists or the personal trainers or everybody who's like really a professional. That's what separates us from the non-professionals. And it's like, hey, get your groove on, get your thing, you know, do your thing. Try to get those random sponsored videos. I mean, it's all cool. But, you know, like this is a profession, man. This is a craft I've spent half my life doing. And I wouldn't be able to even do this in front of you guys uh, if it wasn't for what I've learned throughout my career. And, you know, like I hate to say it, but it's just I get a little frustrated sometimes when I watch these people doing these hair tutorials or these slick backs, the same thing over and over again. It's just like after a while you become desperate for content that it's like, the next, I'm sure I'm going to see a tutorial how to turn on a blow dryer. You know what I mean? Um, so it's like, you know, what's next? You know what I mean? Like how to go buy hair products, like how to walk into a store and purchase a product. Like it, it's getting so bad that it only can last so long. And that's the advantage of me being professional that I can do unlimited things. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm going to keep going with you guys. I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to be kind of distracted and I'm going to stay focused with you guys with my products, with videos, with all sorts of stuff. Um, Ashley, that's awesome. So who here, before we go, I'm going to do this live with you guys before we end this. I did this last time. Who wants to go on my Snapchat? So the first uh, five people that send me a DM on Snapchat, I will Snapchat you live. You will be in this video with us. And just to give a, a quick shout out. So D, it's the salon guy is my Snapchat. If the first five people that DM me right now, I will put you live in this video so everybody can hear and we can say hi. All right. So they're already coming in. All right. Let's see. Cool. So my snap, so go to Snapchat and it's the salon guy. All right. That is my, um, whoop, that is my Snapchat, the salon guy. So Nicholas. All right. Ready, Nicholas? Let's do this. All right. We're calling up Nicholas right now. Nicholas, all right, too bad. Oh, what's going on? Thank you, guys. I appreciate that. Um, Razak, how you doing, Razak? I appreciate that, man. Sorry, I'm trying to do this stuff here. Uh, Kevin, let's go. We got Kevin. What is that? I don't even know what that means. All right, Kevin. We're doing Kevin now. All right, another one. Uh oh, here we go. Kevin, how you doing? Great. Cool, man. Can you see me? Awesome. I can barely hear you. <laughs> how you doing, man? Can you like move the camera so it's not like just filming a top of your head? There we go. Awesome. What's going on? Great. So everybody, uh, you're in the video. Tell everyone where you're from. Gettysburg. Pennsylvania. Gettysburg. Awesome. Gettysburg. That's sick. So um, thank you very much for uh, joining us, dude. I appreciate that. Did you, did you like the haircut? Awesome, man. Awesome. So thank you. I'm going to bounce. I'm getting a few more people, but I appreciate the uh, interaction, man. Thank you. Sorry, sorry. See you, man.
Awesome. All right, that was fun. Let's see what else we got. All right, Nicholas, we got Nicholas over here. All right, thank you, Tamara, I appreciate that. All right, look at this. Is this Nick? All right, Nick. Nick, man, tell everybody uh, where you're from. All right, look at this. Nick, where are you from? I'm from Arizona, Queen Creek. All right, Nick. Arizona, that's awesome, man. So, Nick, you're officially in this video, man. <laughs> Nick from Arizona. Did you like? Did you like the haircut? Yeah, it's awesome. Did you like the haircut I did? Arizona. Oh yeah. I love your videos, man. I've been watching for a long time. I appreciate that, man. I appreciate that. So I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bounce. But um, thank, thanks for the interaction, man. We'll, we'll see you soon. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Have the rest of your day. You too, man. Cool. I that, man. All right. This is fun. So, uh, all right. That's awesome, man. <clears throat> I appreciate that. <clears throat> That's funny. Well, guys, I think it's about time to wrap it up. We went way, way, way over. Again, here's the final look. Just type in um, Charlie Theron, Aeon Flux. Here's the haircut. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I had a lot of fun doing this, and um, I hope you did too. So I will see you all very soon. Please um, leave comments below after this goes live if you like this. You can go back and rewatch it because it's going to be uh, an actual video on my channel. But um, I don't hear requests, but I like look at requests. <laughs> um, but anyway, guys, I'm exhausted. Thank you for sticking with me this whole time. Um, Emma, thank you for all this, for watching. And um, I will see you all very, very, very soon. Thank you, God bless everybody, and have a great night. Bye.